everybody, it's Syndicator, and welcome to a NAM show late at night. Here we are doing a firmware update video because we know that's so much fun. And how do how do we prove that we're actually at the NAM show? Uh, we're gonna have to do that by demonstrating. We could be our, we could be in a trailer park right we now. We could we could be in Tennessee, but we're not. We're in Anaheim, and here they are. We're definitely here. We, we are here. It. Yeah. And it's late at night because the only time that you do a firmware update is late at night. Usually when you find yourself stuck and trying to update, you know how it is. We're going to show that it's so easy to do that you can do it at 1 in the morning. It's amazing. We're going we're gonna to show you. And having wasted it 1 minute and 40 seconds on that, I'm going to actually just launch Vizex do it. Kiwi 106. Wow. You did a nice job on that. Oh, you're so complimentary. Integrator. Yes, a Sycraft Designs original. Now, the first thing it does is it recognizes Whoa. the synthesizer. This is not what I remember from the original Juno 106, which, by the way, is very shiny and awesome. Thank you very much, Syntegrator. Now, remember, the mouse pad is actually not included no. on the Juno 106, but we are using a mouse and a mouse pad in order to demonstrate the editor, and the editor is the actual firmware update tool, which is quite, quite helpful, mm. because what's going to happen here is this... Kiwi 106 that was installed in Dave's Juno 106 is in fact version 1.00, oh. and that was the one we did just around Christmas time. Just in fact, we released it, I believe, on New Year's, uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. You don't have anything else better. It to came do. down the chimney on Christmas Eve, <laughs> and the bottom line here is that it actually did not have some of the enhancements we threw in at the beginning of January. We're actually now up to version 1.03. So, we see here it says the scan firmware level is too low, too low for guaranteed compatibility. Firmware update wizard. Yes, the wizard is in. And the bootloader is 1.0 and the main program is 1.0. And guess what? It says you have to update the main program. How do we do that, Syntegrator? Well, let me see. We press a button. <laughs> uh, update firmware to required level. So that's the whole video. You just got to click that one button. No, just kidding. You have to have a few more steps. I bet. I bet. Or you can do the never mind, I'll take my chances button, but we'll, we'll, we'll no cover way. that one later. No way. All right, so the first thing you need to do, it throws open a dialog, and the dialog is for the MIDI outports used by the program. Yeah. Now, normally, it's going to use all the available ports when it, to, when it works as an editor, but right now, we just want to be able to select the actual one that's being used by the Kiwi 106. So yeah. we've done that right now, and we do not check used all available ports because yeah. you see it says right here, don't do that. So we won't do that. We'll say, okay. And we're ready for the next step. Cool. Power off and restart. Yeah, the little helpful graphics and everything. Those hands look so familiar. Look at that. Oh, I don't know where I've seen those from before. I don't know, but they're stuck inside that editor forever. Would you like me to handle this part? Because I would, please. I'm on the side of the power. Yes, the power, power off and restart while holding down the front panel load button. And we should get like a, a picture of your hands in there so we can do something meta and put them in the editor <laughs> too. Okay, and the Kiwi it will power up with only the load light on. Is that right? Yep. It did so. Okay, cool. we're ready to go. Let's ready for the next step. Next step is transmitting the bootloader update. Okay. Now, Bootloader is the program that loads the main program. It's kind of a two-stage thing, and it's the way of stopping your Kiwi from being bricked in case something goes wrong. So that's a good thing. Let's transmit that guy. All right. Bing, 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 bing. And it doesn't take too many before the light, green light goes on, and it says transmitted. Transmitted. And over here, what do we see? It says, when the bootloader's been transferred properly, yes. the only lit LED will be over the save button. Is that true? It, it is, is totally it? true. So, so far, we are totally on track. Cool. Okay, ready for the next step. Step three, reboot in load mode. Load mode again. We're going to do it one more time. Hold down load, turn it on, load light is on. And, well. Ready for the next step. Ready for the next step. Moving along. This is cake. Cake. <laughs> Even a cartoonist can do this. Next step is it's time to transmit the program updates to sex file. This is the big one. It yeah. takes a while, so let's just do it and let's watch what happens. Okay. Okay, transmit program. Look at these little blinking lights. Oh, you see that? It's kind of like doing a little chase show over here. And we got a chase show going on over here uh, as well. And it basically tells us that these guys will count up 
And the group A LED will be on for the first half, and then the group B will turn on for the second half. Cool. So if you're really, you know, hard up for entertainment, you can sit here and stare, waiting for that group B. It gives you a light show. You can maybe play some music. Like yeah. Like you play music for your time-lapse videos and on your other disintegrator videos. Yeah, well, true. You know, <laughs> this is actually the right tempo for separate ways. <laughs> okay, it is, and I was wrong. <laughs> Dave had to prove me wrong on that one. It's when we do the, when we do the sound demos, we'll see if that's we'll see how it sounds. <laughs> the most important thing about the Juno 106 is how does separate ways sound on it. That's what everyone. Oh, well, I was thinking. So it does work. Roughly the right tempo. Wow. Oh, look, the green LED came oh, on. We're up to the second half now. I'm, I'm so entertained. Oh, Lordy, I'm halfway down. I'm at the oh, NAMM buddy's show. falling down the stairs. I'm halfway down now. We're Lord, at the NAMM I'm show me. watching green LEDs go on. Things are good. We've seen a lot of LEDs this weekend. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. And the conclusion that we can all draw is that musicians are somewhat similar to crows. Oh, well, Attract something's going on Ooh, here. What happened here? We've got a save light on. And it says transmitted over here. Oh, well. So... Program up has been transferred properly. The only LED will be above the save button. Are we ready for the next step? I believe we are. All right, so now we are at step number five the reboot and check. The penultimate moment where we find out if what we did worked or if we are damned. <laughs> okay. And that's where the fun factor of firmware comes in because it's just a yeah, it's and, a crazy fun thing. And, and when I said damned, I meant that in a non-religious way, but in a highly, you're using firmware and it's somewhat infernal way. My parents let me say damn all the time when I was yeah. growing up. Well, you know, I just want to make sure that some of our more sensitive viewers are not offended by my careless choice of words. A I'm valid not. point. All right, here we go then. Switch off the Kiwi 106. I'm doing it. It's already off. Oh, no, it's not. It's, oh. Uh, no, it's not already off. Here okay. we go. All right, and then turn it on again. <sighs> da -na 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 -na. 1.03. I saw that on the screen. And now we're going to scan the firmware to prove... That we yes. are, in fact, at where we want to be. So, are you ready? Here prove, we go. Prove it. Okay. It's successful. successful. It, it sensed it. That's cool. Correctly. And if you take a look here, bootloader 1.0, main program 1.03, status is okay, no updates required. My friends, this has now successfully been updated to version number 1.03. Cool. So, at this point, um, you can do a couple of things. Um, we are actually going to move on and do some sound demo but that's in the next video yeah you're just gonna have to wait for that one because i can't wait uh, me neither gosh i've been waiting to play on this thing for a long time it's pristine it's upgraded it's firmware upgraded and i can't wait to play around with this thing tomorrow and if dave can wait so can you <laughs> and on that note good night nam good night we'll... all right